G'day, it's Robbie again. Well, recently I did some videos on carbide inserts, just basic, you know, hobbyist carbide inserts. They got quite a bit of interest. So you don't have to spend a lot of money on, on tooling and you can get stuff that will work quite adequately for the average backyarder. Out of that, I also had some uh, comments around, about what size carbide to use on what size lathe. Can you use carbide on micro lathes? It was a good question. Or was that, you know, yes. Well, the answer is yes. You can. You can use it on uh, micro lathes. This is my little sure line that I've I got a while back. Now, when I first got this, I thought, mm, you know, I don't think this will swing carbide very well. So I've been using high speed steel on it. But uh, following some comments in forums and that that I've read, people say yes you can use carbide on micro lathes and mini lathes but you have to use the right sort of carbide of course, the right sort of shape and to that end you have to use something which is low uh, demand, doesn't need a lot of power to drive it. and that's uh, TCMT, I'm a big fan of TCMT inserts, you can get them in all sizes from 6mm up I run 12mm uh, holders on the Chinese lathe, that's my 10 inch swing lathe, and on a micro lathe like this uh, you would uh, you would run the 6mm holder which is as small as they go. Next size up is 8mm, you know it, it might do that but certainly a 6mm should work okay. Now I'm too cheap to buy a set of carbide uh, holders for the, the little share line and I've got a lot of high speed steel tooling that I've made and, and also picked up over the years and most of the time I'm only, I'm only working on brass and you know just ordinary steel the, the need for carbide isn't really there but I did actually make up a carbide uh, piece of tooling, just a normal external cutter, quite a while back, and just to try it out, and here you go, this is what we've got, and it's just used, it's made up, made up with the same principle as in that video I did recently showing you how you make a boring bar, it's exactly the same principle, but instead of making a, an internal cutter, you're making an external cutter, and we're just using scrap, in this case it was a scrap uh, insert off of a... Um, a facing insert, you know, for, off of a, uh, an, end, an end mill, you know, and uh, it wasn't even a, one of my old TCMT inserts, it was a much lighter insert, so I just knocked this up. I'll come in close on it. I just used a bit of 8 mil uh, square section that I had, I mean that's the sort of stuff that you use, you know, they use in uh, door handles on doors, you know, to, to hold the knob on, some old scrappy stuff like that will do the job, you don't need anything super fantastic and you can see I've just brazed on the, bronzed on the um, the old carbide insert no problem, put a bit of bit of relief on it, just ground it with some top and back relief and she's good to go simple as that, alright so, let's try it out and see how it works you can see that the cutter is dead in line with the centre line of the spindle so now we'll just put a bit of scrap in here and we'll do a bit of turning. Here's a bit of unknown steel, we'll try that. Get the scrap bin. problem and a great finish. Let's try it on a bit of 
chrome molly scrap should be interesting all right once again we'll we'll use the uh, the live center on it you can see how this you can see how, the, how this live center is long enough to get over the cross slide that's the trouble with these little share lines that if you use a standard short live center and you're working on a short job you can't get past the the cross slide it's uh, it's not very good. They should have brought the nose on these out further. You know, I have my little whinge, but overall these are quite amazing for their size. Get in there. Just shows you don't have to have some great monstrous bloody great big lathe to do machining. You know, you can get by with little baby ones on most of the small stuff you're working on. but the finish could be better. Hmm, that gave a nice finish. I was going in too deep to begin with. I had to do lighter cuts. I mean, this is pretty tough stuff. And the poor little thing, it, uh, it struggled on, the, on that at the deeper cut. But yeah, the end finish came up good. All right, we'll try a bigger diameter job. Mild steel, change the angle, we get enough clearance on the cross slide and I'll knock the speed back so we'll give it a go. Clearance, we just touch the cross slide. That's the trouble. A little bigger diameter stuff on a shear line. Is that for a finish, eh? How is that? That's awesome. All right, we'll, we'll crank her up to full speed 
and see how she goes. I'd be pleased with a finish like that on my big Chinese lathe or the Shorblin. I mean, that's beautiful. Look at that. That's just ordinary. Who knows what steel, you know? It's uh, It could be 1040 or something like that. Can't tell. But it certainly gave it a fantastic finish using a, a homemade little cutter that didn't cost a cracker to make. Well, you know, it just well, you didn't have to buy it at all. You didn't make it. It's that easy. So, yeah, make your own tooling. You can save a fortune. All you need is map gas and you're good to go. Pretty nice, eh? <laughs> and last thing, does it handle aluminium? Let's give this a go. Bit of awkward with the camera here, but oh well, the sacrifices you have to make. Okay. Okay, we'll have to swing the tool post around to clear the, the cross slide. With this diameter. Let's see how she goes on homebrew aluminium. This should be interesting. Perfecto. Absolutely perfecto. Going deeper. What speed was that? With maximum. Yeah, I think it seems to, this little jigger seems to go best on maximum speed, really, uh, in bottom gear to get the most out of it. I'll go in deeper. Magic, eh? <laughs> free aluminium and free tooling. You can't do any better than that. 
Well, there you have it. If the little micro lathe can handle my crummy homemade insert, cardboard insert, I think it should go a lot better with a proper, properly profiled um, and radiused uh, TCMT insert, a six mil tool holder size insert. So yeah, I mean it went okay, but I think it would go better again with the correct tooling, you know. I mean the, the stuff you make when you get down to this sort of size, trying to grind profiles, it's tricky to say the least, and the factory stuff's got to be better. All right, well that's it for me. Um, I hope you got something out of it. Me personally, I think these little micro lays are the bee's knees. They're really good. <laughs> they're awesome. But for what for their size, they're just amazing. All right, see you next time. Cheers.